This is a play model, if you will, of the eyeball. This is, think of this as the front of your eye where the um, light comes in to the front of the eye. This would be the optic nerve, the back of the eye, where your eye attaches to your brain. These are the muscles of the eye. And then if we open the eye, this right here is the back of your eye, the retina. Right here would be the vitreous in here that is um, like a mucosal area that helps cushion and protect the eye. This is your iris, lens, and cornea. And then this is what we're talking about when we talk about age-related macular degeneration, the back of the eye. And think about the retina, the part we're focused on, like a lens, different from the lens in the front of the eye. But think about the retina like a lens in the camera. And the macula, where we're talking about, which you can't really see here in the back of, back of the eye, is important for fine vision, reading, recognizing face, and faces, and driving. And that's why that's important. And the reason why it's important to study people other from different races is because some diseases we find are more severe and are more prevalent in some folks than in others. Like glaucoma is more severe and more prevalent in blacks and African Americans than whites. Other diseases like diabetic retinopathy can present more severely or more prominently and also in different races in the same with age-related macular degeneration.